Hello there, it's a Math-tastic Tuesday. We are going to make a 10. That's the strategy we're really honing in on this week. And then down at the bottom, we're gonna show ways to model the number. There's a big typo with this first one. So we're not going to do this one. We're gonna move on to the second one. So remember how we had to count by 10? Let's do it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And remember, 100 is a special 10 that is actually 100, but it's a group of 10 tens that make 100. So here we have 77 plus 9. Another one that we could use our fingers to count up, but we can use what we know about making 10 to help us. So if I'm at 77, how many more do I need to make the next 10? So I'm at 70, the next 10 is 80. 77 plus three would give me my next 10. And the next 10 is 80. How much more do I need to make nine? Three plus what will give me nine? Six. So here, 80 plus six equals 86. Remember, six plus three, this is what I needed to make that nine. 77 plus three, is what I needed to make my next 10. So now I know that 77 plus nine equals 86. Let's try this next one. How much more do I need to make the next 10 after 32? So 32 is here, my next 10 is, yes, 40. So 32 plus what will equal 40? If you said eight, you're absolutely correct because eight plus two is 10 and you already have three tens, which is 30. So 30 plus 10 would give you 40. So let's put eight here. That's the part we needed to make the next 10. Now, eight plus what will give me nine? You've got it. You need one more. Eight plus one equals nine. So let's take this number, 40, just like we took 80, and let's start with 40. 40 plus one equals 41. Remember here how six plus three equaled nine? Well now here, eight plus one equals nine. That's how we know we're on the right track. So 32 plus nine equals 41. For those of you who like the standard algorithm, I can do it for this one and the other one. Nine plus two equals 11. So I'll put my one here and then one to represent the 10. Now three plus one, 30 plus 10 is four. So I have 41. Same thing here, 77 plus nine. I can do standard algorithm. This would give me 16. So I put my 10 over here in the tens place. So now I have 70 plus 10, that would give me 80 for 86. See, same exact answer. This one you work out 
you do your nine plus, you do your ones, and then you do your tens. For this strategy, you're using what you know about numbers and manipulating numbers to help you solve. Excellent work. So here, I have base 10 blocks that represent a number. Remember, the square equals 100. Here, the base 10 stick equals 10. And my little point here, the dot, equals 1. Now, this can change as you're working with numbers. This is our key. If you've ever read a map or talked about maps in school, this is our key for what we're doing. But you could have a different key with these same symbols that, this, that means something else. So this is our key for what we're doing. So 100, how many hundreds do I have? 100, 200, 300, 400. I have 400. Plus, do I have any tens? Do I have any symbols that look like this in here? Nope. So I have no tens. Now you could put plus zero. You don't have to, or you can just leave it blank. I'm going to just leave it blank. How many ones do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight ones. So in standard form, what would this number be? 400 plus eight. Well, I would have four in the one, in the hundreds place. I don't have anything in the tens place because remember those 10, I didn't have any symbols that look like this. So I have nothing in the tens place. And then I have eight in the ones place. So this is my standard form. Oh, remember name that number? So many times we've done that. Here we have no word bank. So we have to remember what those numbers look like when we spell them. So I have 400, just 400, no tens, and then There you are. You all did an excellent job today. I'm sorry we didn't have this one. I know we wanted to practice making a 10, but we will continue practicing with this this whole week. See you soon. Hi, my budding geniuses. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you have your book so you can follow along. Practice on your own for 15 minutes and then log in to review the lesson. Remember, there's a purpose for your life. If you stay focused, you can say, oh, yay me. I understand. See you tomorrow. Bye now.